was good, Killer. How you feeling? Yeah. Well, tonight's the night. You ready for the next level? I'm gonna be close by watching her. I can make sure you can walk the walk and be my stone cold killer. You feel me? Alright. I'll be by later, so you just hang tight and be ready. Dinner is served. Yeah, any time, don't mention it. Thanks. Who's the guy? The guy? Nicholas Baptiste. He runs everything from drugs, prostitution, contract killing. Probably tied to a good number of murders I've worked. It'd be such a big deal, how come I never heard of him? The guy's got amazing ability not to get tied to things. Take this Riverside murder we're working. What about it? It's got Nico stink all over it. You think we're ever gonna be able to time to it? No chance. Oh, well, that's a spirit. No, that's the truth. This is the real deal. This is no joke. Ugh. Homicide, Larson. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Where is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're on our way. One big shot dead at a convenience store on Carson. Whole thing got recorded on a store security camera. Sounds like a robbery gone bad to me. Why don't we hold off on the theaters until we actually get to the crime scene? Is that all right with you? Yeah, sorry. Right. Hey, Sparks, wait up! Hey, Gunzi, how are you, my friend? I think you're gonna want to hear this. You guys are working the Riverside murders from last week, right? Yeah, if you want to call working it, we bust on our ass for a week, we got shit. Yeah, well, I think I got a lead for you. Narcotics picked up a low-level runner on a possession charge yesterday. Now, it's nothing major, but it's this guy's third offense, and he's looking at some jail time, so I think he wants to make a deal. He says he's willing to give up some info on the Riverside murders in exchange for his charge. And a guy made bail this morning, but his phone number's on this piece of paper. It says you can call him 24-7. Wow, look at you with all the info, Gunzi. Well, I had a good teacher. Really? And who was that, I might add? That's my cue. Happy hunting, fellas. All right. Sounds like a luck's turning around, huh? It doesn't sound like anything yet. But we have a lead. No. What we have is a drug dealer's phone number. A drug dealer who would give up his own mother for the Riverside murders if he thought it would help keep him out of jail. Look, Sparks, all I'm saying is that we can Jeff, tell... I know you're young and you're eager. You may have a bit of a brain, but you're green. And frankly, you know shit. Wow. John, you know you're one hell of a motivator, man. I'm trying to teach you something. Don't you understand that, Jeff? That's why they assigned you to me. You know, everything's not cut and dry over here like it is in robbery. I came from arson. Even better. It burned, it didn't burn. It was deliberate, it was an accident. This is homicide. If I recall, you wanted to be over here in homicide, right? You specifically requested this, right? Yes. Right. Well, you're here now. And here's the rule. In homicide, you never take things for granted. Never take things for face value. See this? This may be something. But then again, this may be nothing. Either way, let's not count our chickens before the horse is out of the barn door and it bolts. Bunchy? Critter? You owe me money. OKC lost. Man, I was an NBA fix, but you know, that's a bad Put it in your college fund. Kid. Wanna ride shotgun? Ah, 
Ah, Nico. You know what I thought when I first saw you? What? I thought that's a soldier. He could be a big time earner. Maybe even my new protege. Look at you now. Making deals left and right. <laughs> yeah, you know, man, I'm just trying to take what I can get. Hey, hey, hey. Don't downplay that shit, kid. That's the start of big things to come. Shows where your heart is. Yeah, all right, man, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you keep making moves like that, maybe I'll be out of job, you know what I mean? Nah, I man, ain't nobody making no moves that big. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to make a name for myself, that's all. Just trying to make some money. I feel you. But, uh... Money ain't the most important thing in this life, kid. You know what the most important thing is? Loyalty. Now, you want to sit at the big table, right? Well, I can set a place for you. But first, I need to know that I have your loyalty 100%. Shit, no, no doubt. I got something for you. Go ahead, man, take it. <laughs> Come on. Feels good, don't it? You can smile, feels good. Yeah. It's for you, man. It's like your, uh, early graduation gift. Are you ready? You know there's no turning back now, right? I'm ready. My man. See this building right here? They're behind on their payments for like a month. And they were shorting me the months before that. Now normally I would just send two of my regular pit bulls in there, you know, just for basic tax collection. But tonight I want to send a message. I want you to go in there and bring me back every last dollar they got. Yo, you mean right now? <laughs> you playing, man. <laughs> Do I look like I'm playing? I ain't no use gonna ask me to go up in there. Motherfucker. Do not waste my goddamn time. I thought you wanted to eat with the big dogs. I thought you wanted to get yours and all that bullshit. Pull up next to a store, I tell you they owe me money. I give you a gun, you gave me a pound. What the fuck did you think that meant? Now I'm only gonna ask you one more time. Are you in or not? Now go get me my fucking money. Hey, kid. One more thing. Pack of camels, menthols, I'm fresh out.
Oh, Rosie Josie, how are you? Hey, Spice. Josie, what do we have? Two gunshot wounds to the torso. Uh, they have a security tape for you to watch in the back. Looks like a robbery gone bad. Hmm. Really? Yeah, let's go watch the tape first, all right? <laughs> Sir, this gentleman here is the store owner. He lives in the unit directly above the store. It says a camera's feed by wire up to a hard drive in his apartment. He brought his computer down for you to have a look. Okay, is that it? Yes, sir. All right, me a favor, just stand by over here for a minute? Yes, sir. Thanks very much, good job. Sir, were you here when the shooting occurred? I was upstairs sleeping in my bed when I heard the shots. Would you mind queuing up the video for us? Yeah, sure. Just cue it up to just before the robber walks in. A little bit more. A little bit more, again. Hold it, right, right there. Now play. to come in and rob and kill me. What's there to say? Case of self-defense if ever I've seen it. Looks like a robbery gone bad. You know, you're very damn lucky to be alive, young lady. Stupid. But lucky. I know. It just happened so fast. I still can't believe that guy really tried to kill me. I know you've had quite a shock today. But I've got to ask you, you got a permit for that gun? It's my gun. Of course I have a permit. Come on, I'll show you. It's behind the register. We're still going to need you to come down and give an official statement. You're not under arrest or anything. It's just for the file. Sure, of course. But it can wait till tomorrow. Thank you. How you feeling? Ah. <sighs> I'm in one piece. I finally stopped shaking.
probably won't sleep for a week, though. I just can't believe that all happened. You're not supposed to feel good about it. Okay. Look, I'm gonna give you my card. You can call me tomorrow and set up a time to come in. I'll do that. Thanks, Detective. I'm Jeff. Uh, Detective Larson, could you please process the crime scene? Yes, sir. Yeah, but if you don't mind. So, ma'am, uh, look, we should get you to the hospital, get you checked out, all right? You don't need to do that. No, really, we really should, because you may have some internal injuries. No, really, injury. I'm fine. I just, I just want to go home. Could you at least let us give you a ride home, then? Yes, thank you. Right. Well, can I call my grandma first? She lives with me, and I called her right after I called you guys, and I just want to call her again to check on her and tell her that everything's okay. Sure. Not a problem. You call your grandma, all right? Officer, if you don't mind, could you please take her home, and we'll finish up here. Yeah, no okay? problem, detective. All right. All right? You're going to be all right. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good job as always. We'll take it from here. Next time, at least have coffees ready for us, will ya? Hey, Larson. I'm gonna run down this Riverside lead that Gunsy gave us. As long as I'm gonna be out all night, I may as well work a case that actually needs solving. Hey, Sparks. What? Check out the ammo from the perp's weapon. Planks? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Give me a minute. Uh, let me make this call. Let me know what else you find. Looks like our boy's getting a phone call. All right, good. Give me posted. Hey, Sparks, this is your number. Huh? The perp's phone. You're calling the perp's phone. I'm not calling the fucking perp's phone, I'm calling the... Give me that. Narcotics picked up a low-level runner on a possession charge yesterday. He says he's willing to give up some info on the Riverside murders in exchange for his charge. His phone number's on this piece of paper. It says you can call him 24-7. Take this Riverside murder we're working. It's got Nico's stink all over it. You think we're ever going to be able to time to it? No chance. Oh, that's a spirit. No, that's the truth. Jesus Christ. Was good, killer? Hi, Grandma. How are you feeling? I'm okay, I promise. Just a little shaken up, that's all. They watched the video? Yeah. They're just gonna need me to come down and give a statement. I'm not in trouble or anything. You did real good tonight. See? I knew you was a stone cold killer. I know. I love you too, Grandma. I gotta go. The sooner I get off the phone, the sooner I can come home. Congratulations, baby. You just graduated.